what's up guys thank you very much for being on electrica i appreciate that uh, now right today we have fraud switch wiring okay now uh, we are into this series of you know circuit wiring and i think it is very important for not every single person knows what you know okay so that's why uh, i keep on putting this information right there because it's always there to target that person that really looking for such information on this platform okay so uh, once again thank you uh, for joining me please uh, if you're new here uh, thank you thank you for coming my name is David um, feel free to like and subscribe here we you know we share a lot of uh, relevant information about you know uh, electrical and some few plumbing stuff so if that's your area of interest feel free to be here thank you now uh, there is a video we did uh, about fraud switch and uh, we showed you know uh, how to wire them how to connect them but still uh, some you know people really needed the uh, broad you know enlightenment on how the connection are done and also the circuit okay so that's what we are doing here today all right now let's begin from here uh, we have here two tanks and uh, I would call this one a and I would call this one B so this is an overhead tank and this is a ground tank okay so you have a pump here that is sucking water from this tank and takes it to this tank and then gravity will take this tank i mean this water to the house or wherever you want it to be okay now the ground tank here it's being filled by by uh, by the utility supply okay so this water comes in freely by it's pressurized so it comes in by from the utility supply okay and then it fills this tank okay now because you have uh, this tank here on overhead so you have you need a pump that will pump water there okay so that you don't you don't use the, the pump directly into the house okay so you can save some bit of electricity all right now because we have a pump here that's the reason why we have to employ uh, this float switch okay so this float switch are just switches like a normal switch you do have Okay, but this one, uh, yes, you can even call them automatic, you know, when you connect this to be automatic because you're not hands-free, okay? So they are being operated by water. It's just a switch inside that, you, you know, it's being moved by a ball, you know, that clicking sound you hear inside. So uh, if you're interested to see what's inside, I'll leave a video in the de des description, okay? So this first switch one, can operate this pump here but uh, it will be very awkward to just connect this foot switch directly to the pump just the same way you connect your light that will be really very awkward it won't be sensible so what you're gonna do you need a, a, a contactor so this guy here will you know uh, operate your contactor and then you have cables that uh, will now operate your pump even if it was 30 meters 40 meters it now depends on the specification it depends on <clears throat> so many factors could be also the length uh, from where your pump is and where the tank is okay uh, and then uh, how much water the pump is pumping per minute uh, you know how many cubic meters that it's pumping okay so all that factor in to give you the specification of the pump that you're gonna use right here okay so the float switch uh, don't really bother your road because you're just going to you know to carry a small current to operate this guy here okay all right now we could use one float switch right here and it will operate this pump when the tank gets full it flips okay and the pump will stop when the water goes down it you know goes back to this position and it will you know run the pump okay but now there are some some scenarios that this pump is pumping 
water from here, taking it here. But some instances, if this tank doesn't have water and this pump is pumping endlessly, then definitely it's gonna, you know, blow air, okay? And that's not the right thing for a pump or impellers. So that's why you need a float switch to put here such that it can protect this pump from that. Now, you set a threshold and this threshold you set it by you might decide and uh, you, you might set it in such a way that if this water reaches this level then this float switch will flip okay and the same way uh, if this water reaches that level again the tank the the, 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 the float switch will flip and then switch over this so each of this either of the float switch can switch off the pump okay regardless what position the other one is in because they are connected in series but in different positions okay why do i mean by that this float switch here uh the way you see them they serve two purposes in that position two purposes in that position it, because it has three wires here, common, red, uh, brown, black. So this first switch, it can be in this position and it will be open. And it can be in this position, closed. It can be in this position, closed and open. Okay, so it depends on how you connect it. All right. So in this, in these tanks, you're going to have them for the pump to run. It means that the first switch will be in closed position in that tank and then this one will be in that position closed okay i hope you can you're able to see that eh? so now the pump will pump now let me say that tank a loses water so water has gone below the threshold so the moment this one changes to this then definitely the pump will go off. Remember, the other one was still pumping because it is in one position. This one, the pump will go off, okay? So if this water uh, is restored to its position where you had said, then this one will flip back and the circuit will run. But again, if tank B gets enough water, then this one will flip like this and it will switch off the pump regardless which position this one is in, okay? So that's it. And uh, the other thing we can talk of is that they are connected in series now. You see the three wires that are here, we have a common brown and uh, blue. So we're gonna, here we might cut out blue and here we might cut out uh, brown, okay? So you see, uh, this side I'm running a brown black, here blue black, all right? So. What we do, we can connect, you know, I know, I know, one foot switch is going to be like 30 meters away from each other, but you have to run the wires anyway, okay? So you're going to have common uh, connected like this, okay? The common wires. Now, if you're wondering how to connect this, so you're, you're remaining with blue this side and black this side, okay? So if if one contactor is in that position and another one is in this position you see that means that our circuit will be on okay so that means that here will be your incoming supply maybe from your breaker and then the power will run through the fourth switch through the second one and this will be the output so this one will supply your contactor okay so if your pump has moved like uh, three, I mean, it has moved like 30 meters, 40 meters, 50 meters, 300 meters, whatever, that one. Uh, the fourth switch, will, we have to run these wires. They will have to go back and forth uh, to operate this. So that, that, that's not really a big problem because uh, you can use a, a bigger wire to take care of the voltage drop. So that's not an issue uh, when you're dealing with this okay uh i hope maybe i've tried to explain everything but in case i've left any other thing please don't forget to leave you know 
a note in the comment section down below. And uh, there is a video we did on this very same topics, like uh, three or four videos on the channel. So you are able to watch and come back and watch here. All right. Uh, you can also visit my blog at electricalsolution.com slash blog. And then you can also find the same information there. Okay. Link in the des description. You can also follow me on Twitter uh, at Sengen.d. Uh, feel free to do that. Link in the description still. So thank you very much for watching Electrica. And uh, I'm glad if you've not subscribed already, please consider doing so. Uh, I will appreciate. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you don't like us, no problem. You can also give us a thumb down, but that's what we're asking for. A thumbs up. Thank you. And I'm out.